Let's take a few minutes to look at the uh, some of the functionality in the Casio FX 115ES Plus Scientific Calculator. Specifically, we're going to look at the matrix functions and matrix calculations. Okay. So to use the matrix calculation mode to perform calculations involving matrices up to three by threes, three rows, and three columns, we can perform matrix calculations. Okay, you first assign data to what are called special matrix variables, and they'll show up as mat A, mat B, or mat C, and then you use the variables in your calculations. So if we go through and look at um, the steps here, I've tried to lay these out so that it makes sense. Um, the arrows will give you the pathway to the specific keys. This example here is to assign a 2 by 2 mat A and a 2 by 2 mat B into the calculator. So we've got 2, 1, 1, 1, and 2, minus 1, minus 1, 2. Uh, and then we're going to perform some calculations. We're going to do a, a product, or we're going to multiply them together, and we're going to do a sum where we add them together. So what it's, <clears throat> what it's going to entail here is for you to press the mode 6 key. The mode 6 key, there's mode, there's the 6 key. It's going to bring up um, a screen here for matrices and you're going to be entered then into the matrix mode. Then you're going to press the 1 key for mat A, 5 for a 2, by two. So what we're looking to do is eventually we're looking to get to this screen. So press one and that's going to get you a screen that says function number one or selection number one in this case is for matrix A or mat A. And then we're going to press the five key. The five key then is going to allow you to select a two by two. So you know the, the functionality is pretty good. It only allows you to do certain things within a uh, a 3x3 three three and 2x2 two two, uh, variations. So this will then display the matrix editor for the input when you hit the, the 5 key. Okay, So when you hit the 5 key in a 2x2 two two, you can see what you've got here is a 2x2 two two matrix and it's waiting for you to do something here. So this will display the matrix editor for input of the elements of the 2x2 two two matrix you specified as a mat A format. So now what you're going to do is you're going to input the elements for mat A. So in each one of these cases here, you're going to input the elements. So when you when you hit 2 and the equals key, then you hit 1 and the equals key, 1 and the equals key, and 1 and the equals key. It knows where to place the elements in this 2 by 2. Okay. So then we're going to perform the following key operations. You're going to hit the shift key, the 4, which is a matrix operation. Two is for data. Two then for mat B and five for a two by two. This will display the matrix editor for input elements of the two by two uh, matrix that we specified now for B. And then when we enter those values for B, then you're going to input the elements mat B two equals minus 1 equals minus 1 equals 2 equals. And that gets that enters all of your data into the second 2 by 2 matrix. So when you press then the AC key, this will advance to the calculation screen. So advance calculation and perform the first calculation, which is a product, mat A times mat B. So you're going to hit the shift key up here. You're going to hit the number four key, which is put you in matrix mode. You're going to hit the number three key, which is for a format A. And you're going to hit the times key, the multiplication key, and then hit shift four for the matrix. Four again. Now you're in mat B mode, and you're going to hit the equals key. So this will display the mat answer screen with the calculation results. So ANS stands for mat answer. So you can see that here. I don't have it on this screen, but this is what it looks like. Okay. So this will display the mat answer screen for the calculation. Okay, and you can see that in the example here, what they're telling you. The next step then is perform the calculation 
for the sum now instead of the product. So again, you're going to hit the AC key, then shift 4 for matrix, 3 for matrix A, plus for an addition, shift 4 for matrix again, and then a 4 this time for matrix B equals. Okay, so you can see it's laying it out here what it will look like on your screen, mat A plus mat B, and then when you hit the equals key, you should get your answer. Matrix memory, then for matrix answer memory, whenever the result of a calculation executed in the matrix mode is a matrix, the mat answer screen will appear with the result. The result will also be assigned to a variable named mat answer. Okay, so then the result of the calculation executed in the matrix mode is a matrix. The mat answer screen will appear then in the result. So the mat answer variable can be used in calculations as described below. To insert the mat answer variable into the calculation, perform the following keystrokes. So you're going to shift 4 for matrix, 6 for mat answer. Pressing any one of the following keys while the man answer screen is displayed will switch automatically to the calculation screen for plus, minus, multiply, divide, the inverse, um, the, the, in, the, the inverse value or 1 over x, the squared value, and then shift squared uh, for x to the third. The calculation screen will show the mat answer variable followed by the operator or function for the key that you pressed. Now assigning and editing matrix variable data, important to note the following operations are not supported by the matrix editor. So memory plus, shift memory plus, which is uh, minus memory, shift recall, which is store, um, um, divide by R, the and multi statements also cannot be put into the matrix editor. So to assign new data to a, a matrix variable, again you press the shift four for matrix, one for dim, and then on the menu that appears, select the matrix variable to which you want to assign data. On the next menu that appears, select the dimension. Okay, this is your dimension here, dim n by n. Use the matrix editor that appears to input elements of the matrix. Okay, so now to assign into a 3x3 three three, or 2x3, 3x2 three, three I actually, uh, to mat C, this, the keystrokes are shift 4 for, to get you back to matrix mode, 1 for the dimension, it's going to be a 3, and then 4 for a 2x3. Then enter the values. 1 equals, 0 equals, minus, 1 equals, 1 equals, minus, 1 equals, 1 equals. Okay, so that's your key steps. And you can kind of follow the green arrows there. It gives you an idea. Okay. <coughs> to edit the elements then uh, of the matrix variable, press the shift 4 for matrix, 2 for data, and then on the menu that appears, select the matrix variable you want to enter or to edit. Use the matrix editor that appears to edit the elements of the matrix. Move the cursor to the cell that contains the element you want to change. Input the new value and then hit the equals key. Okay, so when you're done, hit the equals key. To copy a matrix variable or mat answer contents, use the matrix editor to display the matrix you want to copy. If you want to copy mat A, for example, perform the following key operations. So you're going to hit shift 4 for the matrix function, 2 data for the data function for mat A. If you want to copy Mat answers contents then perform the following to display the mat answer screen. So you hit advance the calculations, then shift 
4 for the matrix function, 6 for the mat answer function, and equals. Press the shift recall, which is the store function, and then perform one of the following key operations to specify the copy destination. Minus for mat A, um, the quote signs for mat B, or the hyperbola, hyperbola um, function for mat C. This will display the matrix editor with the contents in the copy destination. So matrix calculation examples. The following examples use mat A, 2111 and mat B, 2 minus 1 minus 1, 2 from the example from uh, the screen 1. And C, mat C, the 2 by 3, 1, 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1, 1 from example 2. You can input a matrix variable into a key operation by pressing the shift key, then 4 to get you into the maintenance or the matrix function, and then pressing one of the following number keys. 3 for mat A, 4 for mat B, 5 for mat C. So 3 times mat A, a matrix scalar multiplication. You hit advanced calculation, 3, then the times mat A equals, and that will multiply a scalar value uh, of mat A. For 4, obtain the determinant of mat A, so debt mat A. So again, advance the calculation, shift 4 for matrix, 7 for the determinant, mat A, close parentheses, equals, then gives you a determinant, in this case 1. Obtain the transposition of mat C, okay, transpose mat C, okay, it's going to move the numbers around inside the array, it's going to transpose them. So again, you advance the calculation, shift 4 to get to the matrix function, key 8 for transposition, mat C is the close parentheses equal sign, and that will transpose the matrix for you. 6. Obtain the inverse matrix of mat A. So that's mat A to the minus 1. Note, you cannot use the x raised to a power for this input. Use the x to the minus 1 key to input a minus 1. So advance the calculation. Mat A, x to the minus 1 equals, and now we have an inverse matrix for our calculation. Obtain the absolute value of each element of mat B. So with absolute value mat B, again, advance the calculation, shift, hype for absolute, mat B, close parents, equals, and we have the absolute value of the matrix. Example 8, determine the square and the cube of mat A. So mat A squared, mat A cubed. Again, you cannot use the x raised to some power for this input. You use x squared to specify squaring and shift x squared for the x cubed to specify cubing. So advance the calculation, AC, mat A x squared equals will give you your squared value. Advance the calculation, AC, mat A, shift, x squared will give us the, and equals will give us the cubed value. Determining mat A, where we have a 3 by 3 row echelon form. Okay, so we want to determine the row echelon form. So to do this, advance the calculation, shift 4 for the matrix function, down arrow 1, one time, okay, that's for your, uh, your ref, mat A, close parent, equals, you will get your row echelon form. Determine mat A, 3 by 3, reduced row echelon form. So advance the calculation, shift 4 for matrix, down arrow 2, our ref, mat A, close parent, equals, then gives us our reduced row echelon form. 
Okay, again, um, when you're doing this, the thing that you want to do is you want to keep your, um, your handy dandy manual uh, available. I've put a copy of this into the uh, into Canvas for reference stuff for this calculator.